In this video, we will learn about umbilical hernia. Why does it occur? What are the symptoms? What are the dangers? When they should be treated? What kind of surgery is offered to these patients? What's the risk of recurrence? What are the complications or risk of complications? And finally, the recovery from such operations. There are two distinct varieties of the umbilical hernia. Umbilicus or the belly button is the point at which the baby is connected to the mother and to which the nutrition enters the baby and the waste products leave the body. Hence, it is a site of weakness and babies end up having a belly button hernia. In the adults, however, this area of weakness less commonly gives way to a hernia. The hernia commonly arises just above or below the belly button called a paraumbilical hernia and that is due to the increase in the pressure within the abdomen related to pregnancy or fluid inside the belly called a sign or increased pressure within the abdomen from strenuous exercise. Both of these conditions are an actual defect within the abdominal wall, allowing the inside of the contents to escape through to the outside, covered by skin and the subcutaneous tissue, as well as a sac from the inside. In this instance, you can see the small bowel coming through the defect. In terms of symptoms, typically small hernias may not cause any symptoms at all. It's often that they are discovered by the doctors attending to the patients or by relatives who become aware of an unsightly lump. This can over time become troublesome, causing discomfort, pain, a dragging sensation depending on the size of the hernia. The biggest danger of umbilical hernia is that the defect may cause a loop of bowel to become trapped and lose its blood supply and become strangulated. This tends to occur quite late in the process when the hernia has enlarged significantly and has not been attended to over time. Other than the bowel, abdominal fat can sometimes also get trapped and give rise to significant pain. When should you treat a hernia? Once it becomes noticeable and the patient is concerned about it, specifically if there are associated symptoms, and that is the time that is the time to consider a repair. In children, however, the norm is to wait until the child is at least four years of age before repairing, because a lot of the hernias self-repair and disappear as the child grows. Any defect that is bigger than two centimeters or over an inch best to use a mesh to reduce the risk of recurrence. Smaller hernias could just be sutured repaired and have comparable outcomes. The technique include open repair, as shown over here in this cartoon, an incision is drawn just below the belly button. The hernial sac is reduced back into the cavity. And in this instance, you can see a mesh being inserted and sutured above the line, lining of the abdomen to avoid direct contact with the abdomen or the abdominal contents. And then the surface is repaired. This is another representation of the same concept, thus reinforcing the abdominal wall. The same operation can be carried out from the inside by filling up the abdomen with gas and using laparoscopic or the robotic approach. And now you're looking from the inside upwards. So in this instance, you can see the defect with a bit of fat in it, which is pulled out. The defect is repaired with suture and then a mesh is placed on the inside. There's a risk of recurrence in those who are overweight smokers, diabetic, those with large hernias and significant health related issues. The risk of complication from this operation is quite low, specifically related to the operation, bruising, bleeding, infection at the site and rarely injury to abdominal contents are leading to complications. In the recovery phase, Patients are advised to avoid strenuous exercise to allow the area to mend and heal for, for two to four weeks, depending on the size of the repair. They are advised to take painkillers regularly, at least for three days. They can move around and look after themselves pretty much straight away. And most patients with small hernias can go home the same day. They are advised to avoid constipation by taking an adequate diet and use of laxatives. A return to a desk job should occur within seven to ten days. We return to full activity with, between four to six weeks. This completes this topic. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please do share.